Hi and welcome to another video by me, Flo Joe. Today we're going to be looking at the IF function on Power Automate. Now if you've used applications such as Excel before, you've more than likely used an IF statement. Now how an IF statement works is, you have your IF and you open your parentheses and then what you'll do is you'll put a logical expression, a bool expression. And what this means is you're going to have an expression that's going to be worked out that will return either a true or a false. So in this instance, I'm using contains and I'm saying, does Flojo contain Joe? And if it does, I want to do something. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to say, yes, Joe is within Flojo. Or I'm going to say, no, Joe is not within Flojo. So it allows you to use three parameters. The first one is the expression. The second one is the true statement. And the third is the false statement. So let's look at this in more detail then. So we have our if argument, or our logical expression, or our Boolean expression, depend on, uh, depending on uh, the terminology that you're currently using. And then you'll have your yes result. And if, if it's not the yes result and it returns a no, then you'll have your no result and you'll get that back. But in our, um, in our uh, example here, we're using contains Joe within Flojo. We know that that's true. So we know that we're going to get a yes result, right? And then what happens is we return yes, because that's the true result. It's the yes result. So let's actually take a look at how this works then on Power Automate. Okay, so we are on Power Automate, and as you can see, I've got a manual trigger on my flow, and I'm setting Flojo to a string variable. Then what I'm going to be using is compose action to actually write our if function. And as you can see um, from what we previously discussed, I am using contains. So I'm doing does Flojo contain Joe? And if it does, then what I'm doing is I'm passing a string back saying yes. This string contains Joe, and if not, then I'll pass no, this string does not contain Joe. But I want to show you that there is more to if statements than simply passing back a string return. So what I'm doing in this example, the second example, is I'm using the same um, logical expression of contains flow Joe and Joe. Um, but this time I'm actually going to use another function concat, and I'm actually going to con Catenate both Flojo and Joe together. So if Joe does exist within Flojo, then we're going to get Flojojo returned by using another function. So it's not just simply returning a string. So let's actually give this a test then and just run that. Okay, so as you can see, our flow ran successfully. We've assigned Flojo to our string variable and then we've done the comparison. Um, using the contains, we're saying, does Joe um, exist within Flojo? And if it's true, then we have returned, yes, this string contains Joe. So we know that the if statements function correctly and we've returned something back uh, based on the logical expression that we passed in. And then with the same logical expression, um, does Joe exist within Flojo? Well, it does. Then what we've done is we've used another function concatenate We've used concat function to place Flojo and Joe together. So you can actually use additional logical uh, processes uh, throughout your if function. And that is as simple as it gets with the if function for Power Automate. That's it from me, Flojo. Check out my blog at flojo.io for more guides on the Power Platform. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.